I think you need to go hard after Pierce harder if you get the opportunities coverage is mixed, but I appreciate some of what he does. For example, bringing you on, he's definitely trying to get clippable moments from you. He brings me on because he wants to get a clippable moment of uh, me saying something that can be misconstrued, and it's very frustrating. You have no credibility, man. Holy sh! Just listen to me. I'm right, lol. You're so dumb, man. I know, man. I know. I know, brother. I'm very dumb. You're right. There is a both sides uh, argument. You're such a pretentious moron, man. Holy sh! I get it, brother. I get it. It feels really shitty that the only people that are on board with what you think is right in terms of Israel are literally 800-year-old demons. You can't find a single person in your age range that actually has the same exact level of hatred for Muslims across the board, even though they are pretty Islamophobic, but not as Islamophobic as you. You got other Islamophobes going, man, that guy sure is a little weird, huh? That like, it feels alienating. It feels alienating. Sometimes it makes you wanna fucking drive the Mustang directly into a telephone pole, which is usually the natural, uh, the natural way that you see the Mustangs out in the wild, you know? It's okay, brother. It's gonna be all right. Don't worry. America's still giving fucking billions of dollars. Okay? So you don't think it's ironic that all these Ivy League protesters are getting their tuitions paid by their capitalist daddies? No, you're right. If you, uh, if you go to any institute of higher learning, you should have to fucking work at, at, at a fast food joint until you're able to pay for it. Like, they didn't make the system, dumbass. They're fucking barely 18. What are you talking about? Do you find irony in all these Ivy League protests of their capitalist daddies paying for their tuitions? Like, what do you mean about this? What are you talking about? In normal countries, if we didn't live in some fucking weird, dystopian, hyper-capitalist, late-stage capitalist piece of shit country, those people would be going to the best institutions for free. That's usually how it works. Okay? Also, it doesn't even matter. Because one of the things that they're actually protesting against is the tuitions and where they go. They don't want the college endowment to fund and facilitate Israel's ethnic cleansing campaign because they have a moral distaste for such a thing, which I suspect you do not give a shit about, considering that you're a hypocrite Henry. I'm, I'm fine. I'm hypocrisy fishing here. That's the only thing I care about. There's nothing that signals that you are an objectively stupid person than consistently looking for hypocrisy. Where no such hypocrisy exists, mind you, but just looking for it. Because even if there is something hypocritical to the actions, you still have to go beyond that and analyze the action and the reaction rather than just looking for hypocrisy and going, see? hypocritical you saw asman's take on this i did not i did see a lot of people on the timeline yelling at him though come on man whenever someone's critiquing you, you always attack them directly meaning avoiding the point that they make no as a matter of fact you're wrong i will always shit on a person i will always bring the energy that they brought to the table however one thing to remember is that i usually in most circumstances will at least try to address a point that they have made and retorted while also shitting on them. That's something you have to remember. Okay. This guy, I'm sad that he ran away without anything else. Yeah, but they won't protest their dads who are investing just as much in ETFs with the exposure to Israel and that's money funded their entire lifestyle. Come on now. Wait, what? They won't protest their dads who are investing just as much into ETFs was exposure to Israel and that money's funded their entire lifestyles. Dude, you have fantasized the world in which now every single child's parent is a fucking Wall Street executive with ETFs that are directly funding Israel. How are we supposed to organize around this? Do you understand? Here's why hypocrisy baiting is fucking moronic. Okay? It is the it is the idiot's version of trying to cultivate a cohesive, coherent argument. Let me explain to you why. Because ultimately, the underlying premise here, 
that I assume you are arriving with or, or coming to the table with is that you are pro-Palestine. That's number one. And that you also simultaneously want to find the most successful ways of defending Palestinian lives and also simultaneously, last but not least, think, right, that the Columbia students that are protesting and organizing on the boundaries of divesting from Israel, like divesting the endowments of Colombia from Israel, are actually hypocritical. Why? Because their fucking dads also are giving money to Israel. Now, the problem here is, one, you've imagined a world where every single student's dad is directly funding and facilitating Israel, okay? Two, you have imagined a world where those students may or may not have had these conversations with their parents and decided that they haven't had this conversation. And last but not least, and this is the best part about why your hypocrisy baiting is fucking idiotic, you do not understand how you one organizes around a certain issue. The goal for the students there is to, one, bring awareness to the ongoing atrocities in the form of ethnic cleansing in Gaza that Israel is engaging with, and two, make their university divest from israel okay that is how you organize there is no other way to organize for a college student like there is no way that you can have this like fractal completely fucking ridiculous like go talk to your dads on thanksgiving about their donations to israel type shit okay it doesn't work that way that's not how you organize dumbass that's the point you looked at a successful organization a successful, like, genuinely needle-pushing form of organizing, and you criticize that organizing on the boundaries of hypocrisy. This is why it is the favored way for nihilistic dipshits who are just objectively stupid. This is why hypocrisy fishing is a nihilist favorite tool to be like, pfft. Seems kind of stupid, am I right? And a lot of stupid stupid people do respond to that kind of thing, which is why I also sometimes do the hypocrisy fishing myself. It's a very successful method. But it also, you know, leaves your ass out in the fucking wind, bare naked. You've shown that you do not give a shit about the actual protests. You've shown that you do not give a shit about Israel. You do not give a shit about Palestine. You only care about going, lol, got him. That's it. Sorry to be an argument debate, Andy, but hypocrisy is an actual ad hominem, aka a fallacy. Why? A hypocrite can still make a right argument. All attempt does is ignore the arguments. Exactly. Do you get it? I hope this was illuminating for those who love to, uh, who love to just go, well, you know, there's hypocrisy there. So it means that the entire thing is fucking fraught. Why is there hypocrisy there? Because I imagined it. <laughs> it's bullshit. You didn't make an argument. You just lashed out at something that you think was going to uh, get a couple cackles in the chat. So just because these universities have 700K and SB500 ETFs that naturally have exposure to Israeli investments, as do the majority of American retirement accounts, they're somehow complicit in supporting a regime. Bro, you don't know anything about what you speak of. It is not just the SB, uh, SB 500 ETFs that the students are fucking protesting. Columbia University directly goes far beyond the, the, the SB 500 ETFs, okay? However, even if it was just that, it is still complicity depending on what the companies that are funded are, Okay. Oh my God, dude. Oh my Lord. Imagine how quickly we were able to divest from Russia. Why weren't we as financially entang uh, entangled with Russian interests? What happened there? And it's beyond that. Like I said, especially when it comes to Colombia. Okay. Every single college campus in the United States of America, in some way, shape or form, does research for Israeli surveillance technology, Israeli companies that operate in the West Bank, but Columbia directly as a sister school that they're trying to build in Tel Aviv, which I brought up in the interview. I don't know if you're aware of this. I brought this up in the interview with Pierce Morgan, which you should watch on my YouTube. Okay? 
Don't you think that that goes far beyond just a couple uh, investments in an ETF that you're so callously trying to fucking reference here as though that's the main point of contention? Also, more evil existing does not mean that it, it does not mean you're supposed to fucking look at a group of people trying to stop this evil over here. Okay, if you believe it's evil to begin with, which you clearly don't, you're just trying to engage in hypocrisy fishing. That's why I'm saying that your argument is hollow and idiotic. Okay. Okay, so one college, see, notice how you are not genuinely interested in having a conversation and you think you are picking apart my argument, which is why you have a hard time hearing the words that I'm saying because you're deliberately being obtuse because you think it favors a better position for you overall. I did not say one college, Columbia, establishing a satellite campus in Israel means all universities are complicit. I said in the case of Columbia specifically, it goes far beyond the ETFs. I said all other American college campuses, however, in their own way, participate in the Israeli apartheid regime, either playing a role in research and development for their surveillance technologies or playing a role in the research de research and development for Elbit systems and things of that nature. So every single college campus, in one way, shape, or form, directly or indirectly, is funding and facilitating the Israeli apartheid. Now, it depends. Every single student-led movement has different goals and organize around the similar principles, divest from Israel, but it doesn't change the reality that their cause is just and their goals are apparent, and I don't really understand why you have such a big issue with this and you refuse to reckon with the reality. Okay? I don't understand it. Why were we able to divest from Russia so successfully and so fast? Now, also, I thought a lot of these guys who are, you know, who hate me are liberals themselves because everyone's a liberal at the end of the day. Why make perfect the enemy of the good? Nobody out here is thinking that they're going to get a full-blown divestment. Divestment campaigns, boycott campaigns, and, and sanctions campaigns, BDS specifically, boycott, divest, and sanctions, is not about completely removing all financial uh, instruments or, or, or uh, completely uh, having zero relationship with a nation state. It's all about the momentum, and it's about what you can get, okay? Protesters make demands, they make radical demands, and incremental change comes in the aftermath of said protests. But the problem here is, I have to basically describe to you, like I'm building fucking Legos over here, because you have no interest in understanding the truth at all. You are simply here to try to shitsling and say, lol, hypocrisy. Things are hard here because things are hard across the board. There are much, wor much more evil things happening around the world. I'll give you an example of why this is an idiotic way to, to do things. Okay? These are college students, and they don't want their tuition to go up. Uh, they don't want their tuition to directly fund operations in Israel, especially when some of, the, some of the people on the campus, some of the people that are directly you know, teaching at Columbia University are going to have a hard time they're going to have their family members get killed by the Israeli state. That's a perfectly reasonable position to have, to not want to fund and facilitate that with the money that you're actually paying for. It's not dissimilar to how we say, as American taxpayers, we don't want our taxpayer dollars to go and fund a genocide in Israel. Now, obviously, the American government doesn't give a shit, but it's pretty much in line uh, on the same boundaries, on that same fucking principle. Now, remember, though, I'm going to use a different analog here for you to understand. Okay, I'm going to use a different analog here. Hopefully, you will get it. Let's say you see someone getting bullied on a playground, okay, by a much larger individual. Let's say you step in in that situation, but right before you step in to stop that from happening, somebody goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. Don't you think that there's many other children being bullied on the playground right now there's children over there that are being bullied why are you trying to stop this bully from beating the shit out of some children 
Isn't that hypocritical? Don't you think you're stupid here for trying to engage with this one specific playground bully situation when kids are being bullied everywhere around the world? Kids are being bullied in Africa. I'm very intelligent. Do you understand why that logic is fucking idiotic? You don't. You don't care. Anyway, you're in responding to shapes, colors, sizes. So I don't think you will understand that. Um, check Asmongol's tape because you're going to get a bunch of this narcissism arguments throughout the day. Yeah, I don't really care. Do not fucking check his take. It literally just protests bad because retail workers get mad at it. That was Asma's take, by the way. Okay, well, that's stupid. That's a stupid take. I'm sorry, guys. That's not how this works, okay? And I don't know what Asmongol's takes are, and I don't know if I want to cover them. Honestly, I don't really care. I don't know if this is like... Like, I, I don't think this is productive. Does that make sense? Like, I just, I, I'm glad that Asmongold is talking about Palestine, I, I guess. You know what I mean? It's like most, most gamer Andes don't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Um, so, I guess the protests, in a way, did end up working, even if it's like drawing negative reactions from, um, is, is drawing negative reactions from from uh, uh, the likes of Asmongold or whatever. But ultimately, you know, me looking at Asmongold's takes on, like, Palestine is like Asmongold looking at my opinion on fucking World of Warcraft. You know what I mean? The fuck? <laughs> like, I don't think Asmongold's going to be like, Let's see what Hassan has to say about the new WoW uh, game that's coming out. You know what I mean? Oh, what is this? What is his take on WoW Classic? I don't know, fucking, I don't know anything. I just, you know, it's not for me. What is your take on WoW Classic? I have no takes on WoW Classic because I don't know anything. Like, I don't know anything about WoW Classic. I don't watch it. I, I, I don't play it. I've never played WoW my, in my whole life. I just don't know. He said if protesters annoy him, he would support the other side. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, she's pressing buttons. <laughs> Calm down. No! Anyway, guys. Love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Stop.